Hello everybody, how you feeling today? Welcome to creatingwebsite.org where our mission is to teach you how to create a website. Today I want to show you how to loop <coughs> excuse me, your meta slider. As you see here we have a slider but once the page loads it doesn't loop. It just goes once and that's it. Watch. It's going to have your effects going on. Create your own WordPress website. Decide on your web host. Decide on your domain name design your website with WordPress and as you see it just sits there but I'm going to show you how to take this same slide and loop it it'll be a continual loop what you want to do you want to go to your dashboard and you want to go to meta slider pro and then we're going to go to our slideshow which is here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here where it says edit source I'm going to click on it I'm going to control a that means I'm going to select all then I'm going to control C and I'm going to copy everything then I'm going to add a slide. I'm going to add the same pictures that I have for the first slide and put add to slider. Okay, so uh, let me try it again. Something didn't work right here. Let me see. Go here, add to slider. Okay, for some reason it's not working. So let me refresh this. <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is a behind the scenes tutorial. So let me go ahead back here, add slide. And I'm going to pick the picture I want to add. Add it to slider. Oops, I forgot to make it a layer slide. Sorry about that. So let me go ahead and delete this. Welcome to behind the scenes. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go to add slide. And I'm going to select a layer slide. And then I'm going to pick the picture and hit add to slider. Okay, so then. I'm going to go to edit source once again I'm going to control A and then I'm going to control C and then I'm going to come over here to edit source and I'm going to paste that same code there go back to general go back to general let's go ahead and delete this slide here we don't need it <clears throat> I'm going to hit save so now I have the same slide and it's going to be loopy so I'm going to go ahead and fix our time on how often we want it to loop. Let's go ahead and select slide delay will be 7,000. Let's put 7,500 and animation speed will be 700. Okay. And then we're going to hit save. Now we're going to go to our website and we're going to refresh it. And hopefully our new slide will continuously loop. Let's see what happens. Okay. We got a little delay, put a 7,500 delay, and now it loops again. And the cool thing about it is you can change the color of the slide so you can have two different slides rotating, but you got the same thing. All right, this is creatingwebsite.org. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos. Also visit our website, www.creatingwebsite.org. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.